Hello, my name is John Ford, and I am currently the treasurer and seminar lead for CyberHawks. For the Cyber Challenge competition, you'll be accessing and defending and attacking vulnerable machines. Because these vulnerable machines cannot be put publicly on IIT's network, you'll be accessing them through a virtual private network or a VPN. In this tutorial, we will discuss how to access the vulnerable machines using a VPN and how to connect to them using the remote desktop protocol. First, I will show you how to achieve this in a Windows-based environment, and after that, I will show you how to achieve this in a Linux-based environment. Now, the first thing you'll need in a Windows-based environment is the OpenVPN Connect client software. You can find this by going to openvpn.net slash download dash open dash VPN. If you search OpenVPN Connect on Google, it should also be one of the first results that pops up. From there, you can install the OpenVPN Connect version for any operating system including the Mac or even Android and iOS operating systems. In this case, we'll be installing it for Windows, so I will click on Windows to download the Windows version. And I will click Save to download this file. Because I have already done this, I will show you what it looks like once finished. Once you finish the download process for OpenVPN Connect, you'll be able to open it by clicking on the Start menu icon typing in OpenVPN Connect until it pops up, and then clicking on the um, icon that pops up. From there, you should have received an OpenVPN file from one of the CyberHawks exec board that will allow you to connect to the competition environment. Because we'll be connecting using a file, click on the File tab. Then you can browse for the file on your computer. I've saved an example file on my desktop. Once I browse to my desktop, I'll be able to use it by double clicking on the file. From here, you should see your OpenVPN information. No need to edit this, just click add in the upper right hand corner. Once you do this, you should have added your VPN profile, and you can use this profile to connect to the VPN. To connect to or disconnect from the VPN, click on the slider to the left of the desired VPN profile. Once I do this, if I wait a few seconds, uh, you'll notice that the connection statistics pop up underneath and we are officially connected to the VPN. From here, I can remote desktop into the target machine by using Windows Remote Desktop. To do this, click on the Start menu icon, type in Remote Desktop until it pops up, and click on Remote Desktop Connection. You should get a window that looks something like this. From there, type in the IP address of the machine you want to connect to. In this case, the machine that you'll be defending as a blue teamer or attacking as a red teamer is has IP 172.16.144.105. Note that because this is a vulnerable machine, you can only access it as if you are connected to the VPN. Click on show options to edit further options, such as the username. The user will be connecting to as is blue team then click Connect. From here, you'll be prompted to enter the password. If you are participating in the CyberForce competition and do not know the password, um, please reach out to one of the CyberHawks exec board members. Now, once I click Enter, you'll notice that I have entered into the um, I have remote desktop into the vulnerable machine that you will be defending. 
you'll notice that this looks just like a standard Windows Server 2012 environment. To exit this remote desktop connection, I can click the close button located on the bar at the middle of the top of the screen. I'm prompted to disconnect and I'll click OK. To disconnect from the VPN, once again, open the Open VPN Connect client. You can do this the same way as demonstrated before through the start menu, or because I already had it open, I'm opening it from the taskbar. Now, click on the slider next to your Open VPN profile and click OK. And now we are disconnected from the VPN. This concludes how to connect to the VPN and access the machine uh, you'll either be defending or attacking during the Cyber Challenge competition using a Windows-based environment. Now we will repeat the same steps, but using a uh, Linux-based environment. For this, I'll be using Kali Linux, the distribution that will probably be used by most attackers. Using Kali Linux, I will open a terminal window. Similarly to uh, Windows, you should have um, a copy of the OVPN file uh, that you've received from the CyberHawks exec board somewhere on your computer. In this case, I stored it in the main directory, and I can see it using ls. To add this VPN connection, I will use the command nmcli connection import type open VPN file and then the name of the file, which in my case is example.openvpn or .ovpn. Once I click enter, you'll notice that the connection has been successfully added. From here, I can make use of this connection by clicking on the wireless or ethernet icon in the upper right hand portion of the screen, clicking on VPN connections, and clicking on the newly created connection. The connection should have the same name as that of the OVPN file. You'll notice that I have received a VPN login message that says that the connection has been successfully established. To test that the connection has been successfully established, I will ping one of the machines that's only accessible on the VPN network. You'll notice that upon issuing this ping command, I have received bytes back from the machine, indicating that it is accessible. From there, if I want to remote desktop into this machine, I will use the Linux built-in rdesktop command. Note that if you do not have rdesktop on your Linux machine, you may have to install it using apt, or sudo, I should say, sudo apt install rdesktop. I am not going to install this because I already have it installed. However, I will show you how to use it to access the um, target machine using remote desktop. I will do this by typing in our desktop, dash u, then the new username, dash p, then the password, which I am actually going to omit in this case so that people who are watching this video don't know the password, and then the IP address of the machine. And I'll hit enter. You'll notice that because I didn't type in the password directly through the command line, I can now type it in here. Alternatively, you can use the dash P flag to type it in directly through the command line. And just like before, we now have access to the remote desktop window. I will maximize this by clicking the Maximize button. 
To exit this remote desktop connection, I'll click the X in the upper right-hand corner. And to disconnect from the VPN, I will once again click on the internet icon, click on VPN connections, and click on um, the VPN, the name of the VPN connection. You'll notice that now if I check again, this box will be unticked. This concludes the tutorial for how to connect to the VPN and access your um, access the target machines on the network um, using both a Windows and Linux-based environment. Thank you for listening.